Well, my very brilliant hubby has come up with another really cool solution. We want to show you. Well, hey everybody, I'm Bill. And I'm Elizabeth. Live simple. Live free. Well, we um, are really trying, uh, I've I wanted so much with this house to have everything sort of have a, a very <clears throat> um, settled, clean feel. And so we have had kind of an issue where there's been some things, we'll show you, um, some things that were really hard to fit uh, where I would have liked to have them in the kitchen and they've ended up on my shelf out here in the dining room. So we want to show you a really good idea um, and how Bill got everything simplified again so it's all, kind of all nice and neat in here. I have appreciated it so much. So let's look at our solution to the dining room clutter. <laughs> So we're pretty much moved into our kitchen now. We're all settled here. But we've got a few things on the shelf out here in the dining room that we don't have room for in the kitchen. The blender, instant pot, popcorn popper, Elizabeth's tea bags that she loves. We don't have room in the kitchen so we've got them out here. So I was thinking that maybe I could buy some upper kitchen cabinets and put them up there above this pass-through window. But then we decided that because of the expense, at least for now, I could just put a couple of shelves right up there and that would give us extra room to put those things. She'll have to find something else, to someplace else to put her beloved cow, but I'm sure she can figure that out. So I think I'm going to put a couple of shelves up here to get that stuff out of the dining room. You like my trailer? Saw horses? Now the shelf is going right here. The problem is when I open the door, it's gonna the door is gonna hit the shelf and it could possibly break out this glass. So if I try to move it all the way down to where the door will clear it, then there's nowhere here to put the bracket. The bracket has to be over here, which means then the door is gonna run into it. So I'm gonna to have to put a door stop to keep the door from going all the way back against the shelf. So to make sure I get the right spacing, I'm going to lay the shelf down on the floor. That way I can open the door and see where I have to put the door stop. Now if I try to use a typical door stop like this, it goes into here, obviously that's not going to work. So I got one of these door stops that goes into the floor. So I'll be able to mount it back here somewhere. Right about there. don't want it all the way out here where it could possibly trip over it. You need to put it back, but the further you put it back then of course you don't have much leverage with the door and it could, it just is better out further. So I'm trying to find a compromise here. I hate to drill into that floor, but obviously this is going to be a permanent installation like that.
All right, we're good. Okay, I just need to verify the height. We're talking about putting it right above there. Yeah. Like that. Is that going to work for you to get through to the... You'll have to bend down just a little just, bit. But I should be able to set... I should be, I'm trying to think about coming up serving dishes. Yeah. I should be able to set stuff down there without smacking my noggin. I could put it higher, but then we don't have that much room up above up there, for another right. shelf. Um, let me stand under here. Can you... Just let me stand up straight. I don't know no, raise asking. it just the teeniest. If you, if you think we could spare it, I think just that tiny bit of room well, can make a big difference. Or is that going to work? I can put it right like that. Because see where the hell holes are? Oh, yes. As long as those holes are going to be really substantially into the heavy wood, yeah. That should be a good height. Okay. See, then I can I can come and get stuff under here, and I'm less likely to lose my balance. I well, smack my noggin. You're gonna, at that height, you're gonna rub, just kind of rub your head against it a little bit. Right, but that's a whole lot different than just smacking my forehead into yeah, you it. Yeah, you'll have to know. You have to just bend yeah. very slightly. Of course, you don't have to go through. You know, you can just set it here. As long as I can just you know put it down there, I think it'll be fine. Okay. Um, yep. Okay, and then we'll go from there to see what we want to do. I'll put this one on, and then we can put some of the, like the... The taller. Instapot and stuff like that on there to f determine our next the level of our next shelves. That sounds really good, huh? Okay. Let, let me see this real quick. It works beautifully. Yep. Perfect. See, having this little rug here makes a difference too. Oh, this is going to be fine then. I can get what I need to without any problems here. Okay. All right, let's see what it's like putting the big ones up there. So I think this is the tallest thing that we have is this instant pot. 
So of course this will act, uh, will be screwed down here. Oh yeah, right it's now. not it's not going right to go anywhere. Here. So okay. one second, please. I'll be right back. Um, go ahead and do what you're doing. I'm going to check this. Oh, you want that on there too? Uh, yeah, that was it. I guess. Yeah, that's taller. Yeah, that, that's why. Right. Doesn't it make sense to put that up there too, hon? I guess. If it takes up too much room, that's okay. I'll, I'll uh, do it somewhere else. I think that's a bit too tall unless we take take this out. Oh, well, that would be a possibility. Take the glass out. Let's see then. The next shelf is going to be all the way up here, and that doesn't leave a hole. No, uh -uh, that wouldn't be practical. I'm, I'm thinking. Well, have the next shelf. Uh, here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And for this one, we'll just have to. Oh yeah. See, there's a reason why that should be fine. Like that. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So that's the next that's one good, sweetheart. Cool. It's coming together. Yep. Oh, that's going to be so nice to move a lot of that stuff in here, so that I'm not trying to always go. Um, you know, have everything stacked on that shelf in the dining room. So then the next question, everything in here is painted white. This is a very interesting laminated piece. Do we want to leave it that way and cover it with clear polyurethane or do we want to paint it white so it matches everything else? She's uh, thinking. Yeah, I... Oh, go on. I'm, I have the paint. I was planning on painting it white, but I just thought I'd ask that question. Of course, you can't really see it all that well. Yeah, I. Anyway, so. When I look at the room, it's like I'd even love to see if those could get painted white at some yeah. point. I kind of like the white, hun. It just, it just, yeah, me too. it's gonna tie it all together. I mean, I'd love to see those actually be white at some point. These also, I'm planning on painting white. Yeah. Oh, so. I just, I just think it's gonna be. Um, It'll just make the room more cohesive. Okay, white it is. Wonderful, wonderful. Boy, is it going to be nice to have shelves here. Yeah, let me get that next shelf mounted. Okay, cool. This house is old enough that this is not sheetrock. It's the old lath and plaster. Usually I prefer sheetrock. But in this case it's good because if it was sheetrock, I would have to use these stupid little sheetrock anchors. And I hate these because they just simply don't last. You put any weight on them at all and within a year they're going to be loose and falling out. Because this is lath and plaster, it's got the lath behind it, the wood that goes across and then they plaster over it. So when I screw those in, it goes into the, into the lath, into the wood slats that go behind it. And it's solid, and I don't have to use one of these. I like that. Excellent. Excellent. Now this shelf up here is high enough that Elizabeth can't reach it without standing on a stool. But I can, and we'll put stuff up here that we don't use very often that I can still reach easily. This one she can reach to think for things like the blender and the Instant Pot. This is going to be good.
Okay, so now I got two coats of white paint on here. So I'm ready to screw them in place. sure it wasn't too far down to where it hit the wall I mean the door What do you think? Oh, this is going to be so good. Yep. Oh, they're really sturdy. They're going to hold weight really well. Yes. You know, I'm good. Oh, that looks so good. Absolutely. Um, oh, it's, that is going to unclutter that beautiful shelf in the yep. other room. Okay, load her up. Oh, good. Fun. <laughs> She's happy. <laughs> okay. So, on the top shelf, here. Popcorn popper. Yep. We'll put stuff on the top shelf that we don't use all that often because she can't reach up here. Nope. Not We're really. on a ladder, so I'll, if we need up here, I'll have to get it. Yep. He, he certainly can still get them. It's just harder for me to get to. And we're not doing much toast right now, so we can put that on top too. This one on the bottom shelf. Really? You know, all of your tea bags you want down here? Well, I, I don't know where to put them. Okay. Anyway, anyway this is important. This is. Oh! Uh, Instant pot. Instant pot. <clears throat> Oof. We use this all the time. Oh, yes, absolutely. One, at least once a week, if not twice a week. Yep. On the bottom shelf. Okay. And um, on the top shelf. And then you know when we we're gonna try try making some mayonnaise. So is everything fitting okay up there? Yep. All right. And let me just come and decide what I want to do with this. Ooh, I'm, I'm excited. I love, I love that pass-through window. Yep. Oh, this is great. Now see, those things up there, we can get to them, but it'll take Bill getting them. Or I'll have to make sure I've got some kind of step ladder. But down here, this is all stuff that I can reach, except for I might need a little help with the Instapot because it's really heavy. Um, and I've got a little bit more tea. I might just slip around here. But I can reach my tea without any trouble at all. And you found a place for your cow. Oh yes, yes. I have the teapot that my sister uh, quilted, and then there is Gertrude. So I've been able to get my cow there. So, oh yeah, hon. Well, you see how beautiful it looks out here because yeah, it's all cleared, and and I'm still thinking about putting some kind of a curtain or doors or something across the front of the shelves. Thank you. Yes, oh, yes, yes. Okay, let's go look at the dining yes. room. <laughs> Oh, it looks so clean and neat, and I may end up eventually having something that specifically goes on here. Um, we have plans for these, but um, I love the clean look of it. And you're going to notice I don't have the tablecloth on this gorgeous table anymore. I put a runner on here, um, but 
I just, I'm showing off the wood. Man, I think this is a beautiful table. And of course, a lot of people suggested putting this in the corner, which I always thought was a good idea. So we did. And then there's something I haven't shown you yet that I found. Now, the lady that I got this table from that has a beautiful little antique shop here in our town, um, I went there to try to find one thing that we needed for the living room. And I saw what I'm gonna show you just now and flipped over it. Two things, one is that I do still kind of need a little bit more of a place to put some bedding. Um, and also I found out that she, the lady who owns that place, painted every bit of this. She um, distressed the, the surface. Anyway, I gotta show this to you. It's right over here. It's absolutely beautiful. Let me bring it out just a little. See all of this, she painted all these hydrangeas. And I can't believe how inexpensively she sold it. And see, I'll be able, I'm gonna wipe that out real well, but I'm gonna be able to put some bedding and stuff so, like that in there. So how much was it? Oh, she, she charged me $39. $39. For this $39. And it's, it's, it's well built. And um, the fact that she actually painted it. It's, and, it's when you find deals like that, that you can furnish a whole house for not much money. For not much money. I no. mean, the deal I got on the table, this was from Bill's grandmother. Um, he built those. I just, it, it's, it's amazing. And we had one other situation I want to show you real quickly. And that is because over um, in the corner over here in the living room, there was a mess of wires from our, um, our Wi-Fi system here. You have to use kind of an elaborate system here. And it was looking really messy. And I thought I'd love to have something I could just kind of tuck those wires behind. And I f same day that I found the, more light. same day that I found the little chest, I found this. This thing is so well built. Look, this is stone on the top here. It's a beautiful little chest. And we have managed to put the modem thingies on top and tuck wires in behind it. This is gonna actually get like stapled up against the wall, you know, with the careful staples that don't hurt it. Um, anyway. I just have to buy some careful staples. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, all the wiring for, for that Wi-Fi system was all back in this corner. It was a huge yeah, whole yes. jumble. Yeah. Now we, we straightened up this corner. That's the stand for my movie light. Yes. And now it looks nice and neat. Makes me very happy. So I'm, and once again, um, this thing is sturdy and it's well built and it's with $35. It's been amazing what I have been able to find. I'm so grateful. So, anyway, I love the shelves in the kitchen, honey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The only thing we need to do now is get two light bulbs that are the same color. Yeah, I know. We've got that two one's different. yellow, <laughs> that one's white, and that drives me crazy. Yeah, we're gonna have to get <laughs> get a, <laughs> some that are going to be the same color. <laughs> I dearly love this rocking chair. If you look, it's so pretty. Um, our daughter and son-in-law got this for me for my 50th birthday. I can't believe, honey, that's been like 17 years ago. Now, we don't have our daughter or um, her family on the channel. They don't want to be on um, the media on the channel, so we respect that, that's fine. But I just love this chair. And um, through the years, the things has kind of started loosening up and some bolts had loosened up. And so just recently, Bill went over the whole thing carefully and, and got it all nice and tight and strong again. So um, I, I love having it in here. But we were starting to run into a little bit of a situation um, because, you know, Bill has, um, Bill and our son, very, uh, like, uh, you know, sanded um, these floors beautifully, the original oak floors from 1950. And um, then Bill put three coats of polyurethane on them. And as you've seen in videos, I, I think they're beautiful. But this rocking chair, we all of a sudden realized was doing a, just a little bit of scratching on the surface of it. And so we knew we could not let that, that keep happening. So let's sh we'll show you what we did. Um, this is just a lovely, inexpensive little round rug. 
Um, what I love about it is I can just be thrown into the washing machine. I have to be careful to not be having a lot of carpets and rugs or heavy curtains because all of that can collect little particles um, of things and I'm having enough issues with my lungs as it is. So we've been keeping kind of a nice clean floor, but it's very worth it for this one beautiful little carpet. It's very soft. Mm. I, I just found it on Amazon. I just looked up round, four foot round carpets, you know, rugs, and I found it and um, just ordered it from Amazon. But it, um, I think it's gonna work really well. It's protecting the floor and um, I can very easily just throw it in the wash and keep it nice and clean so it doesn't collect particles. So, alrighty, well this, I love this little corner now. It's my little rocking corner. So now we got the shelves above the pass-through window painted white to match the rest of the trim. I think, I was afraid that that was going to look a little bit cluttered, but uh, as Elizabeth said, it doesn't look cluttered, it looks deliberate. But when we had the stuff on that, in the other side on top there, it did look cluttered. So I think that looks much better. And then when we come around to here, you can see that I also got these painted where we hang the cast iron pans. So I'm happy with that look. And I think I mentioned to you before that I was really thrilled to go ahead and get my cow back up on the wall. Isn't she cute? <laughs> now, there were people that had suggested that me having the cafe curtains here as well as the swag was just too much. And um, I thought about it and I wanted to try it with the cafe curtains, but you know, it was right, that was too much. So now with my blind here and the swag, I think it's very nicely balanced. And then it works out great to have the swag and the curtains over here. So I can open and close them. It's not a problem at all. Now there is a broken glass in this window. You can see the tape on it. Yes, it's there and we know it. There just has not been an opportunity to replace that yet. So I think it's looking really nice. I love it. I love it. Um, I can reach the things I need to use a lot and the things we don't use as often, Bill can reach. And <laughs> I may get a step stool in here, but Bill can reach it. I don't bump myself trying to use the pass-through window. Um, I'm, I'm thrilled to death. I think they look very deliberate and neat and nice and it's appropriate in the kitchen. And um, so, yep, I'm very, very thankful, hon. What a good job you did. Absolutely. It solved, it solved the issue. Now it's yep. all lovely and neat in the um, dining room. And I'm going to have people telling me, why don't you do something to cover up all that Thrive Life food you have in the dining room? Hang in there with me because I've got a solution that I'm coming up with. But I'll have to show that to you later. So, Well, I'm glad we had a chance to show you how Bill put these up. And I'm very, I'm just very thankful. I think they're going to be great. So, yeah. All right, you guys. So well, thanks, thanks for watching. Yep, yeah, live simple. Live free. You be blessed. We love you guys. And of course, we'll see you very soon with some other projects that are coming up. Bye-bye. Right. <laughs>